Now, not only can you, uh, you know, shift drag over a bunch of things and filter by object, when you're searching on a Miro board, you can also filter by anything you want, really. So you can hit Control F on your keyboard or click on this little magnifying glass option. And you can go through here and you can type in anything. Just type in a keyword and you'll say, oh, where, where is color coded at? You can click on that and you can see number one, it's sorted by uh, type. And that's telling you this is a frame that has the word color associated with it. Just really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and type in notes onto that shape. And I'm also going to type in notes as this frame. And then if I go up here to the search and I type in notes, it's going to give me a lot more results. You can see I have, uh, I can go, I can anywhere in the board, I have notes. It'll go ahead and take me to all the board options. And you can see these are all stickies. And if I scroll down, this is a shape. And then this is a frame that has notes uh, with it. You can also filter that. So if you only want to see, you know what? I only want to see frames that have the word notes. You can just narrow it down to just your search term with the object type. Now, if you really want to be organized, you can also go in here, uh, for example, uh, sticky notes, you can go in here and you can add tags. Go ahead and hit enter. And we click this sticky note. And we go in here. We can either say, you know what, I want to tag this with tag example, or go into this new one, create a new tag. Let's go ahead and change its color. Hit enter to create. And now we have uh, tags that we can start dropping in on our board. So any of these, uh, again, you can go in here to the tag options, click create, and, you know, any tag you've already previously used, you can go ahead and tag them or tag them with both if you'd like, or unclick the tag with neither. So we'll go ahead and tag this one with both. And then now if I go in here and I do a search, so I've got new tag and tag everything. Here's all the tagged examples and where they are. And again, if I want to filter, I can just say, you know what, just show me the tags and then go through and click on those. Uh, another object that you can use tags with is over here under cards and cards actually have a lot of functionality. So with card select, you just click on your board. That'll drop a new card. You can color code the card to be uh, whatever you want. Call this example card. And then with this card, you can see this little expand option over here. Uh, so there's, you can put in tags, you can assign people, you can put in due dates, you can copy links, you can put in descriptions here. You can add people, you can chat in these cards. And of course, just like what we could with the uh, sticky notes, you can go in here and you can add tags. So tags are here and also tags are on the upper level here. You can just go into tags and say, you know what, put a tag on there. Now, if you're setting this up for a meeting, you want a bunch of people to come in here and, you know, look at your board, you can go over here to the notes options here and you can type in like a to-do list, a meeting agenda, project summary, workshop notes, board annotations. Uh, it can all be over here in your notes. So in fact, when you click here, these templates will pop up. So you know, again, let's make a meeting agenda, go ahead and click on this and it'll go ahead and set up that template for you. Uh, speaking of templates, you know, you can have, you can use those templates, you can create your own. And when we go over here to the templates, you have custom templates down here. So feel free to make, you know, if you if you spend a lot of time making something really useful, uh, you can save that as a template for the rest of your team to use or for you to use again uh, and fill in a little bit more quickly. And we mentioned having, you know, these little conversations you can have or comments, you can go ahead and say, okay, uh, we've already resolved this. And you can also chat in here. So if you go over here to the chat icon, uh, you can literally just chat uh, within Miro as well. So you have comments and uh, chats within comments. And then also you can literally just chat in here. Uh, there's some more options in here and uh, you know what, we'll get to those now.